Hello and welcome to another episode of Beacon Bin Science 2.0. Today we are going to dive into the world of chemistry and we are going to explore one of the most fascinating reagent that is lithium aluminum hydride commonly known as LAH. This reagent is used as a reducing agent in most of the chemistry lab. It has a wide application in chemistry lab but it has some serious hazard associated with it and to deal with these hazards we have to take immense precaution while putting this reaction. So we will discuss in this video one by one all the precautions we, we should take while putting this reaction. Along with that we will talk about the hazards associated while putting this reaction and the applications of this reagent all in this video. So stay connected till the end. Let's explore the exciting applications of lithium aluminum hydride in chemistry lab. Powerful reducing agent used to convert carbonyl compounds like aldehyde, ketone and ester into alcohol, enabling versatile chemical transformations. Its role in synthesizing chemistry is extraordinary. It's extensively used in synthesizing pharmaceuticals, agrochemicals and other important organic molecules. When chemists need to prepare a complex molecule, lithium aluminum hydride comes to rescue by facilitating selective reduction of specific functional groups. In research and development, it's a cornerstone for developing new synthetic pathway and unrevealing reaction mechanism. But this reagent is associated with some hazards. We will discuss this one by one. Let's understand the hazard linked to lithium aluminum hydride. This reagent is extremely sensitive to air and moisture. It reacts violently releasing flammable hydrogen gas which can lead to fire or even explosion. Due to its strong reducing nature, it can react unexpectedly with various functional groups. So be cautious when designing experiments. Lithium aluminum hydride LAH can spontaneously ignite upon interaction with moisture or impurity posing a significant fire risk. The composition of this reagent can release toxic gases that's why proper ventilation is absolutely necessary. These are some of the hazards associated with lithium aluminum hydride. Now let's understand what are the precautions and how to handle this lithium aluminum hydride reaction in lab. First and foremost when handling lithium aluminum hydride, safety should be on the top priority. Always remember these precautions. First, wear the appropriate personal protective equipment PPE kit, including a lab coat, gloves, safety goggles, and if necessary, a face shield. No flammable compounds should be nearby to the reaction setup, like you should not keep solvents in the hood where you are putting your reaction. Then for safety, you should keep dry sand or silite or fire extinguisher near to the reaction setup so that if you see any sign of fire, immediately you can take an action on it. Use dry needle for taking out LAH solution and use nitrogen while taking it out from the syringe. Also put nitrogen balloon to the reaction RB so that inert condition can be maintained throughout the reaction. Now when you are putting the reaction with lithium aluminum hydride, the solvent you should use is tetrahydrofurane THF. The reaction should be kept at 0 degrees Celsius which means you have to use the ice bath for putting your reaction. If somehow spillage of lithium aluminum hydride happens when putting the reaction then immediately quench it with IPA isopropyl alcohol. You should keep the IPA nearby so that you can if any spillage happens you can immediately take action and quench the spillage also after using the needle quench them too with ipa always store lithium aluminum hydride in a dry inert atmosphere away from moisture and air so best place is to keep it inside the fridge after completion of the reaction quench the reaction with fisher's method now what is Fischer's method that is very important because after completion of the reaction quenching is the must thing. If lithium aluminum hydride remains in the reaction mixture 
then it can catch fire when you do the workup or column or any other step. Fisher's method. If suppose you have put the reaction by using X gram of lithium aluminum hydride, X gram can be 5 gram, 10 gram, anything. So suppose if you have taken 1 gram of lithium aluminum hydride, we are considering X is equals to 1. So first thing that you have to do, cool the reaction to 0 degree Celsius and then slowly add X ml which is in our case 1 ml of water to the reaction mixture. Add X ml of 15% aqueous sodium hydroxide solution which means add 15 gram sodium hydroxide in 100 ml water to make this 15% aqueous sodium hydroxide solution and then from that solution take x ml which means 1 ml in our case and add it to the reaction mixture then add again 3 x ml of water which means 3 ml of water and then warm to room temperature and stir it for 30 minutes that's it that's how you can quench your lithium aluminum hydride reaction. As I told you that quenching is very important because the lithium aluminum hydride will be remain there in the reaction mixture. And if somehow you forgot to quench the reaction, the fire or explosion may occur. If you have ever used this reagent in your lab, then write in the comment box what was your experience while using this reagent. Also, if you find this video informative, then do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new to this channel. See you in the next video.